everyone. This is Richard for another edition of Learning with Rich. So I'm going to continue this series of lessons for Revit Structure. So this time, uh, I'm going to uh, teach you how to work with concrete beams in Revit Structure 2017. So again, this is a very short video and I, I hope you will learn something from this. So in this exercise, so I'm going to create a cast in place and precast concrete beams. And then I'll, I will also show you how to edit the concrete beam joints. Okay, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do, so from the structure tab, so I'm going to create a cast in place concrete beam. So I'm going to select the beam here. Okay, and then from the type selector, I'm going to use 450 by 600 mm. Okay, so I'll use the default family here. And then I'll just uh, make sure tag on placement is not turned on so that when I created the column, or I mean the beam, there's no tag in it. But if you want to place a tag after you place the beam, so you just toggle it on. Okay, and then for the chain, so I'm going to uncheck this one. So I only want to create a segment of uh, beam. So later on, I'm going to check that also. But for this one, I'm going to uncheck it first. Okay, so to specify the start point for the beam, so in my view, I'm going to click the center of the pilaster here on my grid B3 center. Okay, so I'm going to pick this one and then I'm going to click the intersection of my uh, B2. Alright, so I click. There you go. Okay, and since the chain here is unchecked, so you will notice after I pick the second point, it ends the creation of my beam. It doesn't continue. So what I'm going to do next is this time I'm going to check here the chain, to, uh, chain option. And then I'm going to place beams along the grid line uh, 8.5. Okay, so this is my 8.5. So I'm going to uh, click the center, this one. I'm going to pick this. Okay, and then I'm going to pick the center of my uh, 8.52. And then here. There you go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press the escape once. By pressing your escape once, it will just end the creation of your beam, but it will not totally terminate your command. So I'm going to press escape once. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to uh, create a horizontal beam on my grid line number two. All right, so I'm going to pick here one. Okay, I pick here two, and I'm going to pick here three. Okay, and then after that, I select here modify. Now, if I'm going to open here the 3D uh, underside the floor with beams, so this is how it looks like. Okay, so this is the, the beams that I have created. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you an option to modify your beam here. So let's say I'm going to select one, right click, and then I select here, select all instances visible in view to, uh, for me to be able to select all the beams. And then from the properties here, as you can see, there's an option here, uh, parameter, uh, geometric position. So I'm going to change the value of my Z offset value. So let's say I'm going to make this uh, minus 300. So my, my beam will go down minus 300. So that is what will happen. So I select here apply. There you go. Okay. Then after that, I select modify here to terminate or deselect the object. Okay. Now, I can also go back to the first floor if you want. You can change the detail level of your view. Let's say you want to change the detail level that will affect your beam. So from the view control bar, so I change the detail level here. Oh, I mean the visual style. I'll change that to hidden line. So it will look like this. Okay. So it's under the underside of the floor. Okay. 
Now, so the next exercise is, or the next part of the exercise, I'm going to create a precast concrete beams. Okay, so again, on my first floor, so I'm going to select here the beam tool, and then I change the type. So let's say I'm going to use the 300 rectangular beam 600. Okay, 300 RB 600. So I select this. And then I'll just make sure the chain here is checked. Okay, so I'm now going to create my, my beam here. I'll start by picking here. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, click the intersection of my B1 here. I pick this. Okay, and then I'm going to pick this portion here. There you go. And then I select here, modify. Okay, you can also edit the concrete beam joints. So if you want to edit that, you just need to go to modify and then you will see this tool here, beam column joints. Okay, it adjusts how beams and columns frame into one another. So I select this one. Okay, and then as you can see, there's, a, there's an arrow here, right? So there's an arrow. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to um, click this. So notice that the cat back has been removed from the left side of the horizontal beam. Okay. So when you click that arrow, it reverses, indicating that no cat back for the beam. And the beam now extends to my wall here. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is, I'm going to click this arrow here. And then I click this arrow to modify the join of my beam. Like this one. Alright. Okay. So that's a miter uh, join condition on the right. Okay. So there's also a padlock here but I'm not going to lock it. Okay, so I'm not going to lock it. Oh, wait, I'll just close this one first. My wife is calling. Okay, now, I'm going to select modify here to deselect. Okay, and then from the 3D view, I open here the 3D view from above. So there you go. Okay. So it's a very simple exercise about using your uh, beam. So in this exercise, I have shown you how to uh, create cast-in-place concrete beams and also precast concrete beams. So hopefully you learned something from this video. So if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, you can also subscribe to my blog site and also here on my YouTube channel so you will be notified every time I create a video. Alright, and once again, this is Rich from Learning with Rich. Have a good day.